Many years ago, a man did something for me that really left a big mark. I was reared without a father in the picture, and we moved to a Mennonite community when I was very young, and my mother's hope was that some of the men in the community would kind of take me under their wing and mentor me, be almost like a, a surrogate father to me. Uh, but uh, with the the Mennonite culture and such, uh, it was a bit of a threat, her being a single attractive woman, and I was a bastard, and uh, it, you know, there was one father that actually wouldn't let me hang around his children uh, because I would be a bad influence, because I was a bastard, uh, there wasn't a father in the picture, um, and because I just might might have too many worldly ideas. So we had a number of bad experiences and a number of wonderful experiences. There are some some gentlemen, the Bauman brothers, that hired me to work in their leather shop. Uh, Sam Horst would let me hang around with his sons and clear wood on their big farm and, and mess around in the welding shop and build go-karts. And I had some wonderful experiences also. So I guess what I'm saying is my childhood did not have the strong father figure friend that I would have hoped for and that I hope every young woman, young man is able to have. And something that Steve did for me, I was about 11 years old at the time, living in absolute poverty. I, mean, I, I didn't care at the time. I had a horse that I would ride to school. Uh, we had a cow I would milk every morning, kind of a rural lifestyle as you might imagine. But we were not financially wealthy at that moment. And I didn't get the opportunity to go out and see new things and do new things that much outside of my little muddy pond neck of the woods. And my cousin Steve drove for two hours to come to our house, maybe even a little bit more than that, and picked me up. And we continued our drive to Opryland. And he paid for everything. As I recall, he even bought like a restaurant meal, which at that point was a huge deal to us. Huge deal to us. And he, you know, he probably bought me two now that I think back on it, uh, what he probably did. Bought rides at Opryland. I'm sure there were other little things, but he spent time with me and we hung out as, as guys. And I got to see how a man behaves and acts and how a man is generous and takes of his time to hang out with a bastard and that was that was cool so before or at least a few seconds after i get all teary thank you steve love you cousin <laughs>